Hey, today I, uh, I'm going to try to explain uh, how to program a TR-808. Uh, the TR-808 is set to uh, internal sync. Uh, you can uh, switch it here at the back uh, if it receives uh, external sync or if it uses its internal sync. If it uses its internal sync, which means that the switch at the back is set to output, uh, then you can control the tempo uh, with this big knob here. And you can fine tune it with this one. Uh, at the moment there is a uh, beat program in the 808. If I press the start and stop button, um, this one is a bit manky. Normally I use the external sync, uh, so, but you can hear the beat. Uh, we want to start with an empty beat in this case. Uh, you can make 12 different beats uh, times 2 because you have for on, under each beat number you have a beat A and a beat B uh, in this case we go to 9A for instance uh, if you want to clear this pattern which we were hearing then you go to first part no, one further down, and then on the first part, if you follow the yellow line, it says pattern clear, and nine is selected, and if I press this red button here now, it will clear out pattern number nine. You can see this jump of the light here, which means that it cleans out the first and the second part. Um, if I put this switch in the center, it will clean out both pattern 9A and 9B. Uh, this light will jump. Mm -hmm. So now we have an empty pattern. Uh, I can't press start and stop now, I have to go to first part. You have, that's in pattern right mode, yeah? you got a first and a second part. You always just start with the first part. First part, 9A. If I press start now, you won't hear any sound. Oh, there it goes. So if I want to program a sound now, it's basically very simple. You have here an instrument select button. Um, this is on pattern right first part, it's running now instrument select button, and for instance the bass drum let's start with the snare drum and you just can bass drum close hi -hat. What you also can do for the hi-hat is you can use the tap button while it's running but then you can hit in the hi-hat with your hand Now the beat is 16 steps long. With the 808 in 9A you can make it 32 steps long. You have to go to second part, get the 808 running, and now you can, while it's on the second part, you can move this knob while it's running, you press and hold the red button and you say how long the second part is. So in this case I want to make 32 steps, so I'll make it 16 steps long again. Now we don't hear, and there it comes again. So now we have to program here. Let me see if I put it back to the close hi hat. We can see it. It's the first part. If I switch it, there's no hi hat. It's in the second part, nothing programmed yet. So now we got a 32 step long beat in the 808. Now we can make it even 64 steps long because now we use pattern A from 9A and now we can go to 9B, go back to first part here again, press start and stop. So the 808 is running and now we don't hear a sound again so now we can program the beat in again. Let's say for instance close hi hat. Oh.
and because I set 9A to a 32 step beat, 9B is also becomes a 32 step beat. You can't make the 9A for instance 32 steps and a 9B 16 steps. It's automatically also going to be 32 steps then. So we go to the second part. Snare drum on the first part. Bass drum. If I pull this switch now in the center, it's going to mean that it's going to what's going to happen then is that he's going to play 9A and 9B after each other, uh, which is like two times 32 steps, which makes like an awesome 64 steps beat. And now we can just while it's running, we go for instance to the rhythm stick and uh, put the level. And by pressing the tab button, I can go record over all the 64 steps. Bit of a high tone. So now we have on Petro 9, we basically have two beats. We have 9A, which is like 32 steps long, and 9B, which is 32 steps long, which we can like link together by putting the switch in the center. This we have 12 times, because these are only the patterns. These last four ones, they're different sort of patterns. They're only fill-ins, and you can only get them by hitting the fill-in trigger, while this is in manual play mode. So if I go to this pattern for instance and I press play now because it's in first part right here's the sort of break in it I made. Stop. If I go to manual play now in this case, I have here pattern number nine, I press play. If I press the intro uh, fill-in trigger, it will go to the fill-in which is here.